um, Darwin looked at it last week when he was charging down the stand and jumping over the, um, the hoardings. But, I mean, how, how important, how big a goal can that be? <laughs> Yeah, we will see that. Um, it was, it is super important. A goal which gives you three points is, uh, it's always super decisive and, especially for him, super deserved. Before people start singing that song more often, um, it's the best way to calm it immediately down. But they can sing it with Darwin response like he did today. He had, before that, he had really good moments. Super. I think it was him the, after a set piece, if I'm right, sensational save of the goalie was his chance as well, so he was really immediately in the game. Um, in a difficult game for us, obviously. Game number four in 11 days is always difficult with our squad situation. It's super difficult. Um, we didn't start particularly well. It was obvious, but the, the, we had no real rhythm. That was the problem a little bit. Like, well, very fluent, these kind of things. You have to play quick against a defensive block. Um, you have to play in the right spaces. We had too many players behind the ball. So, normal football things. Um, and created any way than a few chances, not the biggest ones, but we had a few chances which showed us how we can do it. Um, and then, second half, the game gets more and more difficult. Um, opponent is fighting for the results. Bring on Taivo. It's obviously a real handful and a proper target player for counter attacks. Elanga and um, Otson Doy around him. Gibbs right now with the space there. That's really tricky. We defended that exceptionally in the last moment with the four in the back and and Kweef and then Bataru from a specific moment on. So game op the game is open. That means you can win it. And obviously Maka had an idea and after 90. Eight minutes, a wonderful ball, a really wonderful piece of football, and Darwin is there and scores the goal. Um, really cool afternoon for us in the end. How did you, you know, how, how did you see the situation, which obviously made Nottingham Forest and their coach and their backroom staff very unhappy? The situation late on when there was the head injury. How, how do you see? It happened that? exactly the same in the first half, didn't it? It's exactly the same, just the other way around, right? So, what would you say about that? Well, I expected, that I, no, I expected it exactly to happen like that because it happened in the first half like that. If it wouldn't have happened in the first half, I would have asked a question as well. But op I would now assume it, that's the rule. I don't know, to be 100% sure, but um, because it happened twice and twice what got handled exactly the same. And so, I don't really see the reason for the discussions because that's it. And I don't know how many passes we had to play to arrive there um, and score the goal. Um, but I, I, I understand 100% the, the, the excitement and, the, and the, um, the anger and stuff like this of Nottingham. Of course, they fight for everything and understand that. But I think the particular situation, where it twice, twice the same, then I would say that's consistent. Yeah. Ergen, you've been through a lot of late drama in your career, but does it still feel the same? Is it, is it as exciting as ever? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, it's like four games in 11 days, come on. Five in 15? It's, it's really, it's really tough. With our squad situation, it's all anyway tough. But with our quad situation, it's super tough. Um, and how the boys fall through that is really special. So that we don't come here today and just play them out of the stadium and they don't know, fi don't find the exit anymore, stuff like this. Uh, that, that, that was clear. The fourth game was the toughest. It was a really um, unbelievable effort the boys put in, a proper, proper shift. Um, we had to fight through this, and the boys did it. And if it's nil-nil, it's nil-nil. That doesn't change the game, doesn't change the effort, but the goal obviously changed the result, the points, these kind of things. So, um, and for us, that's super important today, yeah? and I'm um, really happy with that. So now we have a few days longer until the next game. Uh, we need that um, to recharge, um, and then we can train properly as well, which is helpful. The last 11 days we couldn't train at all, we just recovered and, 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 and played again, so that's um, the situation, but super special. You have asked me 12 days ago, is it possible to win all four? I would have said no. Um, but 
the boys made it happen. Yeah, in terms of the squad situation, the timing of the goal, where would you say this win ranked in terms of the biggest ones this season? <laughs> Um, yeah, the last one feels always the best. Eh? So um, yeah, it's up there with all the others. As you said, we cannot. We have only 63 points because we won the other games as well. I don't know exactly when that was and how, um, but they are all super important. But today, yeah, it was Aston Villa like when we there had to turn it around and. Um, Robo scored. He could have. By the way, Robo could have scored in the first half. Maybe should have. I don't know, but. Um, so we had moments in the first half as well. It was step by step, like, oh, bit by bit, they come up again. So we had chances. Um, always, again, when we play football, we are a really good football team. We didn't play often enough proper football um, today, but too much in a rush. Um, but can I understand that? Yeah, I do. Uh, do I like it? No. That's true as well. When you're talking about the, the song being sung, do you mean the song that the, the Forest fans were singing? And yeah, the, the, the Andy Carroll song. Do you think, does, does Darwin understand that? I understood it. But, did, did, but does Darwin understand it and fire him up? I don't know. I, we, yeah. I, I, I think, yeah, I think he understands it. So that's how I said, best answer. <laughs>